uh, cover on the ground is real thick, and you never know where one is. And we're looking for evidence that primates could be here or that they could exist in this habitat. Primatologist Dr. Hogan Chirot has spent over 3,000 hours observing chimpanzees in the jungles of Africa. Chimpanzees in the wild require a certain type of environment. They require an environment where there aren't extremes in temperatures, where there's an adequate water source. Typically, um, there has to also be heavy vegetation. At a minimum, they need a requirement of a large amount of fruit in the area. Chiro also points to the need for a breeding population of chimps to enable the species to survive here. One of the most important things that chimpanzees need to survive is they need other chimpanzees. He will use his extensive experience to determine whether chimpanzees could live here. I'm gonna be looking for potential locations where primates could find food, where primates could nest at night. Signs that, of habitat that could sustain primates. Peterson and primatologist Dr. Hogan Chirot head to promising areas identified from the air. So Mark, this is one of the areas where you sent me the GPS coordinates yes. to? Yes. It looked like a nice dry gully here that usually ends up coming to a water source as well. Almost immediately, they spot a citrus tree. This is a good sign. It's past their season now. There's an old one there. there what do you think that is? Well, it looks like it may be a citrus, but it's hard to tell from these overripe ones. Do you think that'd be a good uh, food source for chimpanzees? It's a potential food source. They definitely need a lot of this kind of fruit, so we should definitely keep looking to see what we can find. I've got another one here, too. Lots of deer tracks. <laughs> Loaded with them. Loaded with deer tracks. There's some coon tracks. I'll tell you what, you get a food or a water source out here like this, and there's not it's a lot of water a, in this it's, area. It's just a highway. It is, it's literally a highway. Obviously a good spot for camera. Yeah, this is Trail a great cameras. location for a camera trap. They're gonna bed down at night. They're gonna make a nest in the trees where they feel secure. That's what chimpanzees do in the wild, so that's what we'd expect them to do here. That's why we're going out at night with a thermal camera, because they're going to be stationary, and we may actually get a chance to see a body if there's one around. They'll attempt to attract chimpanzees that may be near by using recorded chimp vocalizations. Hogan, what calls did you load into this system? We've got several different vocalizations, but the one we're going to be using is a, a long call. It's a communication call that chimpanzees use. Chimpanzees do really distinctive long calls in the wild, and they use those to locate individuals. We typically would use them during the day. The response would be another long call similar to this one. When would we do these calls? We're going to play these calls during the middle of the day. Chimpanzees are a diurnal animal. They're active all day long, and they sleep at night. So we're most likely, if we were to get a response, would happen during the day. Peterson and Chiro continue tracking through the wilderness of the Green Swamp. It remains unlikely that an escaped chimpanzee could survive in Florida undetected. In the history of bad ideas for pets, chimps may be near the top. As a primatologist who studied chimpanzees for nearly 10 years in the field, I can tell you that they're incredibly intelligent, fascinating animals, especially when they're being observed in their natural habitat or in a proper captive situation. Chimpanzees are our closest living relatives, and they have a lot to teach us about their own behavior and lives and about humans. But they are wild animals, and like any wild animal, when put into a situation that's a not a natural situation for them, they're potentially dangerous.